What is up YouTube? It's your boy Jesse. Thank you for tuning in again. So today I decided to actually go through and finally record the video of me revealing the car that I bought. Uh, I actually bought it, I want to say three months ago now. And I've just been putting off doing this video just because the car usually sits a lot and it gets dirty real fast, especially where I live. And uh, yeah, it's just been procrastination. So without further ado, I'm actually gonna be washing that car today and I'll explain why I got it. First though, I gotta move the tow monster. So without further ado, I'm actually gonna be moving the 6.0 and the 7.4. So I think we'll start with the 6.0 cause that power stroke. Talk to the keys, so many keys. I love the sound of that 6-0. Now to the big girl. <laughs> now that's quite a step up. Here we have my 2014 Cadillac ATS. This is a 2.0 turbo model. It is a luxury package and it comes with the Brembo's and these nicer wheels. Uh, it usually comes with 17 inch wheels. So let me go ahead and show you the main reason why I got this car. So if you guys can see right there, this isn't an automatic and it has three pedals down there. So in all honesty, I actually did need a reliable car. Uh, I haven't really spoken on this subject too much. It's not really because I'm ashamed, but there's no reason to speak about my personal life. But since you guys are going to be looking at the car today, uh, you guys will see that I actually do have a baby seat back there. So I actually do have a daughter and I actually needed a car that would be reliable enough to get her from point A to point B. And that's the main reason why I got this car, uh, besides the point that it was a manual. It could have been this or it could have been a G37S. After actually looking at insurance cost, uh, this would have been way cheaper than the G37S. Not really sure why. Although I actually did own a G37 before, but it was an automatic. This car actually only has 15,000 miles. I picked it up with 14, so I put about 1,000 miles on it and all those miles were great. Let me give you a quick little walk around. So my intentions with this car is, I actually will speak about this more when I'm in the car, but I just want this to be a reliable daily, not really a daily, but like a car that I can take out when I want to feel nice and luxurious. I originally bought the Lexus for the purpose this car is gonna be serving now, but after really considering what the Lexus needed to be able to 
become a, like a super reliable car uh, I decided just to go ahead and buy a new car and um, I've actually owned a Cadillac before but it was an automatic it was an STS with a 4.6 I like big butts and I cannot lie you other brothers can't deny it was quick and I actually loved that Cadillac uh, it actually stayed in the family. The Lexus is still gonna stay in my hands. Uh, that's likely gonna become my race car. This is gonna be the car that, this car is just gonna get basic uh, mods. It's just gonna get better tires, maybe wheels one day, BC coilovers for sure. Uh, I actually did add crystalline tint already on this. Uh, I forgot to mention that. I picked it up bone stock. And I guess you can consider that a mod. Uh, it has 15% crystalline on the sides with a 50% on the front windshield. So if you guys can I'll point in there, you can't see anything in there. I love it. And the sun doesn't even phase you. Because where I live, it gets to 100 degrees easily in the summer. So I needed something that would keep my daughter cold. I'm going to just go ahead and actually wash the car right now because I want to beat the wind. And then I'll go ahead and give you a more thorough uh, view on the car once it's clean.